well. Uh, yeah, it's an obvious answer, I think. It's the semi-final at Man Manchester. Um, for, for, for everything, really. For how the game went and the, the penalties, saves, and uh, you know the crowd going mad and 90,000 you know, 9, 9, uh, fans singing my name was, was very special. Um, well, he's been a, he's been a few legends at Arsenal. Uh, I picked Thierry Henry. Um, I never seen uh, such a good player of his class. Uh, um, he had some somebody next to him who could really compete for for this uh, prize. Who I can say I can mention uh, Bergkamp, uh, Perez. But I mean, he's been many. There, but uh, Thierry is, is he was a class striker. Well, Van Aude won't be happy about this. I still think uh, um, Theo Walcott was up there with the um, Bellerin, um, but uh, I reckon Theo is, is one of the fastest players I've seen. Well, <laughs> it's been a few <laughs> a few jokes in the clubs I've been here. Yeah. We we have somebody here who, who, who can win this, but I mentioned another player just not to kill my teammates. Uh, Mertes Sacker. I yeah. mean, he's, he takes half an hour to turn and and run, but. Most skillful player probably will be Santi Casorla. Uh, I never seen anybody eating a ball right and left foot uh, like he does. Um, he used to finish the training with free kicks. Uh, obviously, I was in goal, uh, and um, I never seen anybody put, putting a ball in the top corner either 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 foot. Uh, hardest working player. Um, well, Fabio is up there. Um, he really works hard. We like to stay, you know, 15-20 um, minutes more after trainings, and he takes, you know, a lot of time for his finishes and improves himself. Um, but we got many. We got good pros in the, in the club. Um, I can mention Billy Jones. I can mention a few, a few of the boys who care about the, you know, the physical part as well. Well, um, again, we got a few here, but uh, <laughs> um, the boys were saying uh, Duncan is up there, but. Uh, He's improving, you know. He, since he signed, a, he signed a new contract. He, he, he tried, new yeah, <laughs> bought some new new clothes, and he's, he's really improving. Well, it's a good fight uh, between uh, our new teammate Emmanuel Ebue and uh, I've been with Jimmy Bullard as well. It was uh, really crazy, uh, but. Uh, I give it to Ebue. Well, just miles and laughs, and then, you know, uh, he, he brought really uh, happiness in the dressing room. And uh, I knew, I, I knew already as soon as I see him uh, the first day that he was gonna give a, a boost to the dressing room. Best advice. Um, well, I was really young. Uh, it was the first time uh, I met uh, Buffon. Um, I was really young, and uh, it was a game of Highbury, uh, Juventus, uh, Arsenal, Juventus, and uh, um, obviously it was my idol. So, uh, if you're listening to your idol, you know he, he always said uh, 
uh, keep going, you know, and um, you know, try and prove yourself uh, and never give up. So um, I received good advices for from from a few of the you know of the old guys, uh, layman, and you know, I had, I had uh, some nice people who who gave me advice. So. Um, it's always been good to listen to them. Yeah, well, um, the semi-final again, of course. Um, but even, uh, I would say, the, you know, coming out at Wembley and uh, listening to, to, you know, 40,000 people singing my name. It was uh, something uh, amazing and uh, that it will, it will always stick to my heart because, uh, you know, it's, it's not uh, comparable to anything else.